Hey, yo, in case you haven't heard, Canelo Alvarez is having some problems with the WBC because he's not even ranked. That's right, Canelo Alvarez has been removed from the WBC rankings. The reason why is because he failed to enroll in more drug testing. The man who tested positive doesn't want to get tested. That's what it sounds like to me. E King Fight News, more on this story, guys. All right, guys, E King Fight News, Canelo Alvarez, WBC. Y'all know what it is, man. Smash the like button. All right, so it seems like Canelo Alvarez is having trouble with the WBC. Um, and you know what? In Canelo's defense, and it's not a good one, the, um, the Golden Boy CEO, president, uh, vice president, pretty much, Eric Gomez, uh, a guy that's heavily involved in matchmaking as well, he pretty much said, hey, we're, we'll enroll as soon as Triple G signs to make a fight. Meanwhile, Triple G out here has pressure under the IBF, and they're saying uh, that, you know what, you guys got to fight Derevianchenko, or otherwise you're getting stripped, buddy. <laughs> you're, not, you're not no IBF champion anymore. Because you failed to fight your mandatory for how long? It's been, what, over a year? Over a year now on that one? So, um, and he's held that IBF for time. That IBF strap, man, I believe. I got, I'm going to look at the lineage of the IBF title because uh, that's one I'm not too familiar with because I know Golovkin held the WBA for a long time. And he beat Daniel Gill for the Super WBA. And that's really when Golovkin's first legitimate world championship reign should have started. Right? So everyone talking about he's up there with Bernard Hopkins bullshit. Straight, straight bullshit. All right? But that's, that's that. Apologies there. Canelo Alvarez, who's not willing to do the, I, I don't get it because his whole stance was he's willing to do all the testing necessary. Like, oh, test me a million times. I'm good, man. Just let me fight, yo. <laughs> Just let me fight, bro. But Canelo Alvarez, uh, it seems like he pulled out of the fight and now is waiting on Triple G to sign some shit that basically uh, confirms, in my opinion, they basically want Triple G to take the same deal that he was supposed to take for May 1st. And I'm like, in my opinion, it seems like this is the situation. And Triple G's like, yo, what the fuck, man? <laughs> you pull out... You should give me some more money. <laughs> like, like, it seems like it seems like that's the situation. I mean, uh, what's his name? K2 Tom Loeffler already said there's huge financial incentive for uh, Team Triple G to make that rematch happen. Yet and still, Gennady Golovkin talks about, oh, you know, it's about 10% chance I fight Canelo. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. But um, another rumor floating around out there, shout out to Fred, barbershop conversation. He was saying that Golden Boy may be interested in doing a real Mexican style with Jaime Munguia. Real Mexican style for September, since the Triple G fight has not um, been finalized as of yet. Real Mexican style. And, and you know, it's interesting because I'm sure Canelo and Oscar must be just sick of this Mexican style type of um, uh, programming. Or, or, the real word is promotion. Uh, promotional gimmick for Gennady Golovkin, this whole Mexican style thing. The guy's not even Mexican and calls his pay-per-views Mexican style. Where there's no Mexicans on the, there's no Mexicans in the main event and shit, but it's Mexican style. Like, it's amazing how many people have bought into that, 
And look at Triple G like an all-time great. It's amazing. Like some literal like, like brothers out here following boxing for years and years and years think this guy's some great middleweight. And now we're finally at the, at the point where Gennady Golovkin has challenges all around. <laughs> he's, got, he's got legit contenders. He's got champions that want to unify. He's got, he's got, you know, legitimate mandatories. And, and now Team Triple G's like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We got to fight Canelo first, <laughs> you know? It, it seems like that's the deal. But we just got to wait and see because um, we don't really know what they got up their sleeves. I would expect them to be negotiating with Canelo Alvarez and for Canelo Alvarez to then re-enroll back into this program. And every, I think everything will be okay. At the end of the day, um, we're probably going to see a Canelo Triple G rematch most likely in September. As, as long as, you know, uh, they give Triple G a little raise, a little boost in, in whatever it might be. Some upfront money, and and I think I think everything will get settled out. If you ask me, we're probably gonna see Canelo and, and Gennady Golovkin fighting in September. But the whole issue there is Golovkin will have to get stripped for that to happen, because Oscar De La Hoya doesn't want to take the risk of Golovkin fighting a mandatory, and yet. I don't know. It's, it's so much bullshit with these two camps. And, and, and the only thing I can sit here and agree on is they're ducking the rest of the division. And they're too busy fighting each other. Or trying to fight each other. They couldn't even do it for May. It's unbelievable. But you can't fight these. Let me know what you guys think, man. Canelo Alvarez out here. Getting, getting pulled from the rankings. It's not, you know, is it that big of a story? Triple G, possibly scared of, you know, they're already accusing Triple G of being scared, not wanting to fight. I mean, huge pay-per-view, huge money, and Triple G is, is I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what the weight is on, on that end. That's the fight he wanted. I mean, that's the, that's the draw he has on his record, which is such bullshit. But it is what it is, man. E King Fight News... Let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And, you know, what does Triple G do from here? I mean, there's so many fights out there. I would love for him to choose... Um, you know, I kind of want him to defend his title. And fight Derevyanchenko in a fight that would really be... You know, at the same time, like, I don't expect that to do blockbuster numbers, but... You know, Gennady Golovkin, you know, did all this shit with Mexican style fighting. Marco Antonio Rubio's, Osamu Adama's, fucking Dominic Wade's, all these guys we don't know. And then Derevi Chico shows up and says, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Nobody knows this guy. <laughs> you know, what the fuck, man? Just fight, guy. Yo, you're a fighter, right? You got all these belts. You're world champion. You know, fuck, man. Fight that guy. You know? <laughs> e King Fight News, man. Let me know what you guys think, man. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I don't know what it is.